Opens up the corridor here. Real chance for, for Casey through the middle of the ground. Rivers sinks the slipper into it. Target down there is Milford. It'll go a little bit further than that. Taken on the bounce by Valentine. Gave it to Chandler. Just wants to straighten up and give himself a shot at goal. He does, and he kicks it straight through the middle. Did that really nicely. And they do get the first of the second term. 3-5-23 to 5-3-33. Casey down towards the wing position. It's got over the back, so it becomes a foot race. There is no one between this contest and the goals. And every poor player slipped over. So Chandler will now receive the hand pass. He can run into the open goal. Just a question of the bounce. And he rolls it through for his second. Spot on. All the poor players just fell over there. Chandler ran into the hot spot, received the handball, and uh, I was a bit, I was about to say kick it, because I was a bit worried he's going to run too far then. <laughs> you always worry with the dribble kick in that situation, yeah. but effective. So four goals in a row, comes into the middle of the ground, good speed here from White, breaks through, then takes a bounce in the middle of the ground, waits to kick well towards Chandler, who I think was held, and the umpire spots and pays the free kick, and... Chandler will line up for a third here from about 45 metres out. White was going to be paid the free kick then for Leck, but he got play on, not even bothered paying it, which is good umpiring. Yep, common sense. Hooper just comes off the ground here for a bit of a spell. He'll be keen to get back out there and keep riding the uh, momentum that he's enjoying. He's also getting a little bit of uh, tension. So Kay Chandler in a constant presence, 16 possessions, five shots at goal, and he's put it through for his third. Three goals, two for Kay Chandler, and Casey re-establish their lead from halftime, 7-6-48, Port Melbourne 6-6-42. Edwards will set this kick up. Again, a pack of players will converge. No one able to, to take the mark. Stepping through traffic, weaving his way through and snapping it around the body for another goal. Chandler kicks his fourth and probably rubber stamps three votes. Pokes the, the little kick in board. It won't get to its intended target. Stepping through there is Chandler, oh. his coat hanged. And he'll get an opportunity to kick goal number five from that subsequent free kick. Oh, that was a good coat hanger. And he's all right. And it's three-quarter time at the MCG. Sydney have just kicked another goal. 9-14-68, 9-3-57, Essendon. They've done well to push that out to 11. And 13 points had it, Avalon Oval. At 11 minutes gone in the third quarter. OK, Chandler... Been terrific today. Possessions in the high 20s and lining up for goal number five. Some of his field kicking has been elite, so you give him every chance from here. 45 metres out. Not a particularly taxing angle and a nice looking kick that's just got inside. So five goals to Kate Chandler. And a really strong day at the office.